Coming up on this edition of Talk of the Town, we're going to have Jane Moore and Roberta Holmes in talking to us about their grand ball coming up. Also, uh, Dr. Hall, Dr. Richard Hall comes in talking to us about the Middies Career Center's upcoming levy. Also, Jamie Hops and Jen Oakley were in from the Board of DD talking to us about their upcoming event or the Employee Month. Um, also, Mild Hogs and Twisted Souls. We had uh, Sherry and Clayton talking to us about the Secret Santa run coming up on this edition of Talk of the Town. From the U.S. Bank Studios in downtown Cambridge, Ohio, it's Talk of the Town. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm Jim Vaughn, and uh, we're sitting here today with, uh, let me see my notes, Roberta Holmes. Right. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> and Jane Moore. Jane. Hey. Thanks for coming up. What are we talking about today, anyway? Um, we're talking about the ball. The ball, the American... <laughs> Grand Holiday Ball by the American Historic Heritage Society. I was just going to say that, but thank you very much, because I was trying to read, and I don't do that well. Coming up November 23rd at the Eagles, am I right? Yes. Right. What's right. it all about? Well, it's, uh, we have the Cambridge Social Dance Group that uh, kind of leads us with some of the really old American dances, and uh, we have a lot of fun while we're there. I mean, if you're going to be there, you might as well have fun. Well, absolutely. So we have a uh, light buffet, mm -hmm. and uh, we have an auction uh, midway through, and uh, it gets quite entertaining during the auction sometimes. So. Oh. <laughs> cool. And, and auctioneer, do you know who that's going to be? Jeff Leonard's okay. done our auction for us and does a fabulous job. Great. And, and uh, these are some of the things we're auctioning off, correct? That's just a few of them. And do you want to mention any of them or in particular? Um, the this is really nice up here. This looks like Mosser glass. It, it? Yes. is Mosser yes. glass. Good stuff. And uh, uh, with every basket, usually we have food coupons of some sort. Uh, we have haircuts or nail manicures, uh, mm -hmm. we have oil changes, repairs, uh, uh, Mill Fair has done a thing for uh, uh, flooring or whatever mm -hmm. services they need, uh, King Carp has done the same, so we have a lot of variety. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad we got them both in there. Uh, <laughs> a <laughs> well, plug for both, you know, it's nice. Um, the benefits go too obviously the American Historic Heritage right. Society. Right. Can you explain a little bit about what that is? Well, we have uh, started uh, about five years ago, and this is actually one of the first things we did. Um, we also do a Flag Day program in June. Uh, it's a biannual thing. Uh, we don't do it every year. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't do it this year simply because it was Father's Day besides, so okay. we felt like it work. was not going to work yes. well. But now, we will be doing it this year. I was told you might be dressed in period clothing. Now, is this what this is all about? You dress in period clothing to do these old dances, mm -hmm. am I right? So we get our hoop skirts out. and. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, Kick up our heels. It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us again when it is, where it is, and uh, how do I make reservations and that type of stuff. In, either one oh. of you. <laughs> 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 mm, well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I read this this morning, but um, well, it's at the Eagles Reception Hall. Yes. And usually, uh, open doors about seven, seven thirty is most mostly when the festivities start. Uh -huh. We have a lovely buffet, quite delicious. It's um, a light buffet because of the dancing. We don't want to weigh you down and make you not want to dance. That would yes. be terrible. But it is by reservation only, am I yeah, correct? It is by reservation yes. only and because of they, the food. Okay, and where can they call to make reservations or how do they do that? Oh, that's a good idea. Um, well, we <laughs> Thank you. We, uh, <laughs> it's kind of what we do here. We contact uh, Coletta, me, or Roberta um, at one of the following numbers. And uh, Do you want the numbers? Sure, I do. Okay. That's 740, of course, and there's 4350400, or 7403439, excuse me, 439-4150, or 470-740, sorry. Yeah, whichever. 255-7466. Thank you very much. We've got the flyers we're trying to get all around town and stuff. Okay. 
So if you see one of them and you're interested, pick one up. Oh, get please. a reservation in there. Reservations are basically so you know how much food to get and that type of yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. That's the, that's the main thing. Yeah, reason. that just helps you guys We'd out We'd love to be end. able to open the doors, but when you don't know if you're going to get 50,000 people or 15, yeah. you kind of have to do something. Yes. Um, the social dancers lead the thing, as she said, mm -hmm. and... Uh, they do a fantastic job and they have wonderful costumes and come costumed if you like. Um, if you can't or you don't want to because, you know, hoop skirts and stuff like that are kind of mm -hmm. hard. But if you want to do slightly later, like the 1880s or something like that, that's fine too. Okay. Um, we love it when the, the people come who do the, uh, the costumes for things, uh, for other things and mm -hmm. uh, join in. That's a lot of fun. Alrighty. Thanks for coming up, you guys. Roberta Holmes. Thank you. Jane Moore. Thank you, sir. You need to stop out or find out how to get a hold of you guys and uh, grab one of those flyers and come on down to the ball. Absolutely. Have a good time, right? Absolutely. Kick up your heels. And a lot of people do uh, auction items, and I think they turn around and use them for the Christmas gifts. So that's There you go. Yeah, nice. a good time to get a good Christmas gift. Set up, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks again. We'll be coming right up here in just a few minutes. Talk of the Town. We'll be right back. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach, as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. The Old Country Loft in Byesville is full of quality country primitives and a whole lot more. Ruth Dixon and her crew bring you the things you need to decorate your home with country charm and warmth. The Old Country Loft, corner of Main and Glass Avenue, Byesville. Check out Talk of the Town on Facebook. Go to facebook.com slash yrptv and be sure to subscribe. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. In this segment, we're going to be talking with Dr. Richard Hall at the Mideast Career and Technology Centers. Richard, there's a levy coming up, isn't there? Yes, there is. Uh, there's good news. It's a renewal levy, and it's a, at a 75% reduction of the levy that's currently expiring. Uh, Ten years ago, the voters passed a 1.4 mil uh, permanent improvement levy that allowed for a $51 million renovation project in Mideast. Well, it's mm. hard to believe that uh, 10 years is, is uh, this fall. And so the Board of Education has made the decision to put the levy back on the ballot, mm -hmm. but uh, with a huge reduction. Uh, okay. Instead of a 1.4 renewal, it's a 0.35 renewal, uh, a which would generate enough dollars for us to do some uh, construction projects and mm -hmm. uh, offer more programs to Career Center. And that's our intent if the uh, levy successful here on November 5th. Well, I know the, the money is used wisely down there. I've been, I've visited several times, and, you know, the, the programs and the, the youth that goes down there, it's just uh, amazing uh, projects you got going on. So. Well, we hope so, and uh, we're in a situation where uh, we are in good shape financially in terms of operational dollars. Amazing. Uh, we can operate it. Uh, we just need dollars to build it, and what we would do, we have two projects in the works. Uh, Two years ago, the, can the uh, district bought uh, 55 acres adjoining the Buffalo campus just mm -hmm. south of Cambridge here, okay. and uh, we would like to make that into a working farm. Well, in order to do that, we need more academic classroom space and, and then build a building, what I call a glorified barn with classrooms in it so that mm -hmm. it would face the farm and we could make that into a working farm and add additional ag pathways for our students uh, and new programming for our students. That would be the intent at the Buffalo campus. And then at the Zanesville campus, we would build an activity center uh, and increase our uh, space for early childhood education. We actually run a full bona fide preschool in Zanesville. We mm. train preschool teachers, but we simply need more space to do that. Mm -hmm. And so we would build an activity center uh, moving our criminal justice to the activity center and along with that adding classroom space and lab space to add uh, exercise science possibly, mm -hmm. physical therapy uh, and occupational therapy in the future. Healthcare is not going to change. It's going to change no. but it's not going to go away. So we <laughs> want to maximize our opportunity for students and add programming in the health occupations area. Excellent. And like I said, that's, that's unusual to have the operating money and not have the building most levies they're going to build a building and then they don't think about that operating money in the in the future my perspective on it anyway oh you're exactly you know? right <laughs> and very rarely do you see a levy renewal with a huge reduction yeah like that. that's that blew my mind yeah it, we you know. uh, the district would actually if we're successful uh, at the ballot box on november 5th would collect 75 percent less 
uh, than what they've collected in the past, which is rarely heard of. Yes. And so we feel really good about that opportunity that we can uh, offer our taxpayers if we're successful at the ballot box on November 5th. But the bottom line is we can operate it. We just don't have enough money to build it right that's, now. That's amazing. But you've already got the operational money to, to go. So to me, it's a no-brainer. Okay. <laughs> well, we hope so, but uh, we want we want to make sure that the public's informed about what we'd like to do and, and the opportunity they're going to have to hopefully renew this levy. But we do feel good about the fact that it's a, at a huge reduction, mm -hmm. which is rarely heard of. And the, the biggest thing that's great about a permanent improvement levy, that goes for rebuilding facilities and equipment, nothing in terms of operational, which this does nothing but goes directly to our students. That's great. And to come back to the ag, I mean, that's what this area should be, um, you know, the agricultural industry around here and to have these youth coming up wanting to get involved in that is is by far excellent i mean it's just you know we got to have them yeah absolutely the farmers are feeding us and a lot of people don't realize yeah that. absolutely and we have you know we have 32 programs district wide and we only have two duplicates and our intent is just to create more programming give students more opportunities and to do that we need to put the, go back on the ballot that's excellent so we need to vote for that levy yeah we certainly hope so am i allowed to do that adam am i allowed to promote the levy <laughs> I'm, I live in Rolling Hills and stuff, so I'll probably vote for it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Probably? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, but we, if I get out to vote that day, you know. We just really, we just really feel good about the opportunity. <laughs> Dr. Richard Hall, thanks for coming up. And good luck with the levy, and I'm sure it'll pass for you, man. You're doing so, right. so well down there, and the, and the money is so well spent. If anybody ever visited that campus, they would know that it's going to good purpose. Uh, the, I've been down there to see the veterinary uh, program. Uh, course the technology stuff so good program down there. thank you vote for the levy we'll be back in just a few minutes talk of the town we'll be right back cambridge is more than just a town this is our home supporting downtown cambridge means shopping at the places we love with the people we love for the stuff we can't get anywhere else food that tastes like home and personal service from people who know your name the money we spend here will keep our town growing. Let's all shop small for our town. The home we love. And the uniqueness that makes Cambridge a great place to live, work, and play. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. Check out Talk of the Town on Facebook. Go to Facebook.com slash YRPTV and be sure to subscribe. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. In this segment, we're going to be talking with uh, Jamie Hops and Jennifer Oakley. What are we talking about today, Jamie? You're with MRDD, by the way. Yes, but we're not MR anymore. I'm sorry. You've dropped that. No, you're fine. It's oh, no, absolutely it's, fine. Uh, um, I did it on purpose so you could tell us you, the real you did. version. We dropped that a few years ago, and we're moving forward with that. Um, but October is National Developmental Disabilities Awareness Month. So we recently had a breakfast to celebrate all of our persons with developmental disabilities who mm -hmm. are employed in the community, and we celebrated their employers as well. And Jennifer is our employment navigator, provider support person at the county board. Okay. And I know Will that works at Cambridge Used Cars. Yeah. Yeah. Does that help? It does. It does. <laughs> I saw the billboard. I think like, everyone what? does. Yes. We, yeah. are, we just unveiled the billboard last week. Mm -hmm. um, it's out on Southgate, out by uh, the old bowling alley. Yeah. So we're, we're very proud and with our partnership with um, Cambridge Used Cars. They were our hometown employer. Yeah. And, and, and Will's really happy there. He knows my name somehow. I mean, I, I didn't know him. He just come running up to me Will and started. Will knows everybody. He really I does. Think they, I think they told him who I was when I pulled on the lot, just to warn him, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, to warn him that I was there. But we have a good time down here, too, with our stuff. But anyway. More. So we had our breakfast recently, and we celebrated 12 individuals. Mm -hmm. um, each month you can check out our Facebook page and our website. That's www.guernseycountydd.org. Um, and you can see those every month. Mm -hmm. It's our Working Wednesday individuals. So we go and Jen interviews them and takes her picture and s kind of finds out what they love about their job and what their um, managers say about them. And it's just a really good opportunity to get out into the community there. Yeah, and it helps people get that work that they need. And Yes. We've changed our efforts over the years. 
Perfect. You sent a lot on employment outside of the workshops. Yes. We're no yes. longer just, not everyone goes to a workshop. Yeah, and Kelly's favorite line is, we're no longer just finding jobs, we're finding careers. That's because cool. it's the long term. Um, our goal is to one day be able to celebrate that person retiring. Mm -hmm. And so we might be able to see it in our, our careers at the county board, and that, that would be something amazing to celebrate. Yeah, bragging about how young you are. Yep. Thank you, Jamie. Appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but anything else you want to talk about? You talked about maybe some more events coming up. Well, we've up. got tons of events coming up. Yes. So November, we're going to be partnering with um, the Sheriff's Office for our Breakfast for the Brave like we do every year. It's going mm -hmm. to be a lot of fun. Um, then December, we've got sensory-friendly pictures with Santa. Santa's going to be coming out, and that's always a lot of fun. January, we're going to have a Badges versus the Eagles basketball game, which is a great fundraiser. That's always a lot of fun. It's I've a talked lot of to fun. folks about that. Uh, Tanya Hitchens, as a matter of fact, has yes. talked to me about that. The Badges yeah. games is a blast. Great fun down yes. there. And that this year is going to be a fundraiser for the Night to Shine, which we will help um, the Stop Nine Church of Christ mm -hmm. do. Um, Another which huge, is a huge event. Huge event. <laughs> This you had that at Pritchard Laughlin, We right? did last year, and hundreds of people, amazing turnout from the community, and we just can't yeah. be blessed. Thousands I mean, of yes. volunteers to go with thousands of the participants, and, yes. and it's just yes. a neat event, red carpet event. So, Absolutely. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to talk about today while you're oh, up here? I will be back definitely with more events, <laughs> and we'll, we'll get Jen back no, up here to talk about employment. Jen, <laughs> Jen, <laughs> Jen I, wish I, could, I wish I could get Jen to quiet down, because, yeah. you know, it's only a five-minute segment, <laughs> and so, you know, you just got to... It's the first time I've ever heard that. Usually they don't want me to quiet, or they want Is that right? Quiet, and that's yeah. why people put you yep. up here. You probably talk outside of the studio, but then the microphone, you yeah. know. Which is. is why she's so good with all the employers. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you got to have somebody out there to be that liaison. Yes, and, um, absolutely. Yeah. And like I said, those guys down there, I know I don't, I don't mean to keep plugging them, but Cambridge East Cars, there's a lot of fun guys down there. And he's working with Eric, the cleanup dude, and it's, they have a lot of fun. I know they do. So, Thanks for coming up. Appreciate it, Jamie. And Jane. Jen, nice to meet you. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll be right back in just a few minutes. Talk of the Town. We'll be right back. U.S. Bank is the fifth largest bank in the country, and while being recognized nationally for their strength and stability, they continue to provide hometown service. At U.S. Bank, they provide a variety of products and services for your consumer and small business needs, such as free checking with internet banking, loans and lines of credit, and free financial planning services. At U.S. Bank, they're proud to support the growth and development of their communities by helping local business owners achieve success. Introducing the area's most exciting new gift shop now open in downtown Cambridge. Peace Pipes is pleased to bring you a large selection of smoking accessories as well as a wide variety of clothing, jewelry, health products and locally made gift ideas for everyone. With unbeatable prices and one-of-a-kind products, our friendly staff is here to help you seven days a week. Peace Pipes is located at 914 Wheeling Avenue in downtown Cambridge right next to the post office. Peace Pipes, waging peace on prohibition. For a show schedule of upcoming guests and to watch past episodes, go to yourradioplace.com. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. I'm Jim Vaughn, and uh, we're sitting down now with the uh, Mild Hogs and the Twisted Souls. We're talking with uh, Sherry. And Gene, possibly Clayton. Yep. And there's Ms. Clayton and Gene, so. <laughs> you guys are here to talk to me about a, an event coming up, uh, Secret Santa, uh, in conjunction with the Secret Santa we're all aware of here in Guernsey County. Right, yep. right. You yep. want to talk the about Saturday, it a little bit? Yep, this Saturday, um, we're going to start off the giving season um, with a toy run. Um, it'll be going out of Walmart up here on um, Southgate. Mm -hmm. um, we have it down on the garden center end so that way people can just register and if you want to be part of the run we accept bikes and vehicles okay um if you don't want to be part of the run and you still would like to donate you can come on by and we take donations at that time of cash checks um toys unwrapped toys um because everything goes directly to secret santa um no guns, remember? Yes, no we gun don't tools. collect guns. We don't collect any weapons ah. for Secret Santa, so yeah. people need to remember that. We yeah, always end that. up getting a big donation of them, and then and what do we you found, do with them? well, last year we, we've actually ended up giving them to um, Jurassic. 
Oh. And then they've been able to use them there okay. at Jurassic to give away. But that's what we've done in the past. So, but anyway. How does the run work? I'm not, okay, well, I don't ride a bike. I'm sorry. That's okay. I wish I did because I see you guys are out. You're always out there running and doing something. And I'm yeah. not familiar with it. So okay. the public that isn't familiar with it. I, well, I drive in there and I sign up. You sign up. Um, what you'll do is um, to sign up. It's just a donation of a toy. Okay. Or if you don't want to, if you don't have a toy, you can donate ten dollars and be part of it. Um, we're also doing a fifty-fifty. But with your sign up, you're getting a, a ticket for a door prize. I've collected a bunch of door prizes. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll leave. Um, it's we'll start doing registrations at ten o'clock. We'll okay. leave Walmart and we'll head to the Secret Center in Senecaville. Oh, okay. And we uh, we'll ride through town mm -hmm. to just get, get awareness. Everybody awareness. It's all about awareness. And it's That's all what it is, yeah. and since it's a Secret Santa is all ran by your volunteer fire department. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be guiding us through town as our escorts. Good. So you know you get the sirens and all that going yeah. on the ambulances. So it gives everybody a wake up. Hey, it's the giving season starting. Think about our area, local kids. Um, Absolutely. And, and I know, you know, Adam's all about waiting to talk about Christmas, but this kind of thing you got to do ahead of time. Well, <laughs> yeah, we'll yes, have Santa yes. Claus up there. We'll have Mrs. Oh, not Claus. this time of year because he gets really oh. hot when the weather's like oh, this. Oh, well, he, Santa's coming in. All right, all right. Santa's is, he, is he riding? And Mrs. Santa Claus. will be riding and so will Mrs. Yes. Claus. Is she on the back of the same bike or separate uh, bike, so, do you think? Uh, what do you separate, think? Probably. So probably separate, probably. Probably separate, but, you know, okay. it'll happen. We know we might even have the Grinch up there to give us a little oh, bit. Oh, I see you're teasing him. So yeah. yeah, and so we'll <laughs> we'll have hot chocolate and stuff up there that morning. And, and for everybody, if you have a little kid, yeah. bring a little kid up Be to see Santa to talk to okay. Santa. Santa and, I mean, you know, get them ready. Because, yeah. I mean, it's a good way to correct their behavior. But once we get to the Secret <laughs> Center, you know, we'll be having a meal. And I'm preparing oh, okay. a meal of ham and chicken. Is the chicken's actually being donated by Walmart? Okay. Um, the Good ham plug. is being donated by Heather and John Brill and Hopkins, Brill Hopkins, okay. and um, then we're having noodles, mashed potatoes. Um, mm -hmm. The bread is being donated by Kennedy's Bakery, of course. Okay, we've and, heard of that. Yeah. Yeah, Clayton, yeah. Do you want to add anything? Uh, there's this, uh, there's another run going yeah, on the I, exact you wanted same to mention day. The other run. Yes. Yeah. Um, they're having one out of uh, Bysville VFW. The post down there. It okay. begins and ends down there. It's for Bruce Sitchna. Okay. Uh, now from Bysville. Has, from Bysville. He has, the uh, way I understand, stage four cancer. Okay. So they're trying to raise some money. So if you want, stop by, donate a toy mm -hmm. at San Secret Santa, and then go on down to his event or, you know. Sure. Because that's what, after we do our meal at the Senecaville Secret Center, we're You're heading we're, head, we're heading over there. So okay. everybody that goes on the run with us is sure. more than welcome to go over there to help. You know. And how many do you anticipate when you do these runs? Just oh, off the I'm, top of my head, I thought I'd I'm weather. hoping. I'm weather. hoping. <laughs> it, you, you never know. It's going to depend on the weather and stuff. Yeah. I, I would like to see more than 50 bikes show up. That's it, great. It would be amazing to see that. It's, I'd like to be able to fill a truckload or two. Yeah. It would be nice to start off the season that way. Yeah. Because everything, you know, as soon as we're done eating, we go down and open up the doors at Secret Santa and mm -hmm. put it on the table. This is the first of the donation to give us an idea of what we're going to need be like. this year. Yeah. yeah. What's it going to be like? And last year we only took a truckload. So yeah. it would be nice to get a lot more than a truckload. There's a lot of kids out yeah. there that need and this. And you have stuff. to start early. To collect, I yeah. mean, oh, yeah. I know it's it's. Oh, you got to wrap the gifts. You got to get yeah. the, get it together. There trying to figure a lot out where you're for taking Santa them. To do Absolutely, and his elves. yeah. Santa's a, a busy lot. guy. Yes, a busy lot. guy. Yeah. So yeah, we end up with about. We've ended up last year going out of there with twelve different routes. So absolutely amazing on Christmas Eve. So yeah. that's a big, huge ordeal going. So it's again this Saturday. This yes. Saturday at we the start at the. I'm Walmart, sorry. Walmart. Walmart. At Walmart. Walmart. Yes. We start at 10 o'clock. <laughs> another event at the Eagles early. At 1 o'clock. Yes. Walmart, Southgate, 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Bring we'll a bike or a vehicle, four wheel. Oh, yes. You can drive four, a yes, yeah. you car. Can, yep. <laughs> yes, you can drive a car. <laughs> Definitely. Personally, I'd have to have a trike at this age. Uh, I just couldn't pick one up if it fell down. They're, they're coming more and more popular. Yeah, I, I see a lot a of them. A lot more popular. I see a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Thank Sherry, you for having us. Clayton, nice to meet for both sure. of you. Same Man, you. It's a great thing that you're doing and uh, just a great thing to do. Thanks for watching this week. Uh, what do you want me to do? We'll be back to wrap it up in just a couple of minutes. All right. Talk of the Town. We'll be right back. Learning Jungle on Main Street, formerly Main Street School Supply, is located in downtown Cambridge, just west of the courthouse on Wheeling Avenue. 
They have a huge selection full of educational resources and toys to teach as well as entertain. They feature a large inventory of gifts for children of all ages, and you just have to check out their selection of stuffed animals, puppets, games, and so much more. The Learning Jungle on Main Street, downtown Cambridge, has layaway for your convenience and is the area's only specialty toy store. A world of knowledge is waiting for you at their front door. Bundy Law Funeral Home has worked since 1924 to earn the confidence of the families they have served and continue their commitment to the community. They offer a complete range of quality services, from funerals to cremation, and honor all faiths and customs. The staff at Bundy Law understands you need to know all the available options to make the right decisions for your family. A price list is available upon request, and they invite your comparisons. You will make the right choice when you choose Bundy Law Funeral Home. That'll do it for this edition of Talk of the Town. We want to thank Jane Moore and Roberta Holmes coming in. Uh, Dr. Hall talking to us about the uh, levy at Mideast. Jamie Hops and Jen Oakley were in to talk to us. And uh, the club's Mild Hogs and Twisted Souls was represented talking to us about Secret Santa. We want to thank, uh, well, first of all, I want to mention something. You know, Adam has been ragging me about this pink shirt. And you know it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I think we've all been touched by breast cancer awareness in one way or form or another, uh, either family or friends. And uh, lots of fundraisers you can get involved with with that, uh, anywhere from uh, different types of, uh, what am I trying to say here, the Relay for Life, that's what I'm trying to think of, Relay for Life, and a lot of different things to get involved. They've come a long way with diagnosis and treatment, and early, de early detection is the key, so yeah, so that's why I'm wearing pink today. Uh, it's, uh, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's the gray hair, man. It's the gray hair that goes with pink. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Talk of the Town.